So for us, obviously, it was a last minute loss on Saturday. Sometimes that can really get a group down, but we spoke after the game, didn't we, about how ultimately we're going to take some pride from that performance. Yeah, I think we have to. Um, the The game is done now and, and we have to sort of uh, crack on and, and focus on the next game. So our focus is now Dagenham and, and our attention turns to that. And we can't let the disappointment of, of what was essentially a last minute, last minute winner get us down and, and let, we need to move on. The, the next game is now the most important thing and, and, and onwards we go. Obviously, we've had well, six home games in a row. This is our first away game after that. You know, that doesn't change much, does it? But it is a bit different. Yeah, it is. We we had a big period of where everything was away and away from home with the, with obviously that Maidstone, Solihull and Bromley game. And then, and then we had this long period where we we're all at home and, and, and sort of rearrange games and whatnot. I must say, I have um, thoroughly enjoyed the six games at home. And even though we probably haven't won as many as we wanted, um, hopefully we've, I think we've been quite competitive and quite entertaining, certainly in maybe 75, 80% of it. So um, I, I can speak for the players as well and say they've enjoyed, enjoyed it. And, and to sort of finish that round of six, six with, with the performance that we had against Wrexham it, it was, is a good thing. Um, we talked about the performance against Wrexham, there's still bits that we need to, to correct and how I defended for some of the goals and how we started and, and, and what not needs to be better. So there are all things we can work on and get better at. And Yeah, the six games was great and now we're aware and we've got to get back into that away form where we've been really good this season. The last time we played Dagenham, it wasn't too long ago, was it? But I mean, we, we didn't play that badly in that game. Obviously, they, they ended up with a 2-0 victory thanks to two goals from Josh Walker, but he's, he's not there anymore, is he? So does that kind of make things a little bit more difficult because you've got to redo your plan on, on how to face them? Yeah, I thought, I thought when they came that we were OK. Um, we conceded two goals on the kind of break, which, which is something they're really good at. and uh, They break quickly and, and they break fast, so that's something we'll have to be aware of. Um, but uh, we didn't create enough chances in that game, and, and I think we, we, when we did create a couple of one nil and sort of half chances, we didn't quite make the most of them. So we need to be better in the final third, and I like to think with, with with getting the ball wide and how we have been getting the ball wide and trying to be better in the final third, that should help us a little bit. Um, but yeah, the, obviously they're they're coping without Josh Walker. They're still they're still a good side, and mm. um, that uh, we've got to go there and we've got to perform well, and we've got to do do the best we can to try and get a result. As you say, they are a good side and you know, after facing Chesterfield and Wrexham, you'd think things would get easier, but it is still a challenge, isn't it? It is. Um, they're not in the best of form at the minute um, and uh, they'll want to turn that quickly. Um, even though I think they beat Solihull a couple of games ago, so, so it's not, not that they've lost loads in a row or anything, um, but they'll want a positive result, of course they will, um, in front of the, sort of the home fans. But uh, I said to you before, this one of four games, it was really, really tough. Um, to play Chesterfield and Wrexham back to back and to come out the other side maybe not too disappointed uh, is a real positive thing but um, it counts for nothing if we don't go to um, Dagenham and perform well and, and get a good result so the, the fans were excellent on Saturday the fans were excellent um, in the trophy in the dock and they've been excellent over the six games we ought to them and we ought to the club to, to then perform well because otherwise it means nothing to stand here and, and talk about us, us, us playing well and, and, and certainly in the Wrexham and Chesterfield fixtures. Um, in terms of our squad, obviously we've seen Panny go on loan to Maidenhead and you know you wanted to talk, didn't you, a little bit about those those loan players? Yeah, uh, so obviously we wish, we wish Harrison all the best. Um, he's gone for 28 days to Maidenhead, um, so obviously to get himself a run of games and obviously stay, re re remain within this league, so that's, that's really, really good for him. Um, we've obviously still got Keenan Maxwell out at, at Leverhead. Um, there that we want to, we might want um, to. I believe like potentially looking challenging maybe Keno, Keno to to into another club. That might be something that might come up soon or certainly in the very near future. Um, we've obviously still got got Francis out on loan at Slough and and whatnot. So yeah, boys are still out on loan. Um, we've uh, yeah, boys are still out on loan, which is obviously getting them minutes and, and getting them game time, which is obviously really really important for them and. We want to make sure that boys like even like Alex McAllister has just gone to Kingstonian and um, they're, they're playing games and they're getting minutes. Um, I don't know if I've missed anyone. Have I missed anyone? Uh, Mac has just gone to yeah, Kingstonian. Yeah, Alex has gone to Kingstonian. Um, but yeah, it's important that they play and it's important that they get games. Um, the um, well, I've obviously got Ryan and stuff as well. Yeah. Um, we've obviously got Mason as well from the academy who's in training with us. Mm. Um, he's in um, training uh, full time with us now. 
so that's another that's a really positive for, positive for the academy he's done really well with the 21s this year so he'll be with us he'll still be playing games in the 21s but he'll, he'll get a bit more of a first team feel and be here full time certainly from now to the end of the season um, so yeah you mentioned Mason there and obviously those those lads on loan because the teams are out of, you know part time they do train with us full time don't they but, yeah. and obviously you know as with your experience as an academy manager what, what does that give to a to a younger player to be in and around the first team yeah I mean it's, it's, it's obviously playing with all the players and that sort of physicality and, and level of a level of playing is, is is really good really good for them and it'll develop it'll certainly develop him more playing with this level of players every day. Um so that's the main idea of it. Um it'll obviously give him a taste of it. It also also shows there's a pathway here as well and that's what we want to show. We want to show that we can still produce young players and, and get young players on the pitch and for the players that are still playing with Mason in the Academy it's it's great for them to see him progress and great for them to see see who come up but and yeah, so it's obviously excellent for him, it's excellent for the club and it's excellent for the academy. So so hopefully long may it continue. I mean you mentioned there as well about um players being full time with us and being part time. So you get people like Alex who's still sort of in two days a week and two days with Kingstonian and obviously you've got players like Cody and Francis who are who are more full time and out in their other environments who you don't quite have as much contact with as well. So um everyone's off doing different things. We we try and track them as much as we can and, and, and keep up to date with where they're at and follow them as much as we can. Cheers, Russ. Cheers, Sam. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.